Strawberry runners are by far the easiest way to propagate new strawberry plants. They're free and the strawberry mother plants send them out pretty much all growing season long. But you want to get them early. The earlier that you can get these runners, the better the chance you have at growing them out into fruit producing mother plants within one season. So let's look at how I plant up my strawberry runners for maximum growth and success within a single season, expanding my berry patch every year for free. With strawberry runner plants, we cut off the runners every chance we get to preserve that plant energy. When cutting runners for planting, however, we have to be a little more specific. One of the more hilarious old school methods of planting strawberry runners involves getting little pots and actually placing the strawberry plantlet in the soil while still attached to the mother plant and leaving it there until it actually roots and is ready to be detached. Oh my gosh, can you imagine doing that for a hundred strawberry runners? Actually, can you even imagine doing it for five runners in a vertical setup like this? No thank you. There's a much better way. The issue with leaving your runners to continue to grow on the mother plant in little tiny pots everywhere, other than the logistical space nightmare, is that they continue to sap energy from the mother plant. But you don't want to take them off too early as the runner stem itself acts like a little umbilical cord that feeds that plantlet until it can live on its own. So take them off too early and they don't actually survive. But there's a clue that we can look for that lets us know that those little plantlets are ready to support themselves. And that clue is the formation of root nodules. As the plantlets grow and progress on the runner, they start to gradually form root nodules and actual roots right on the bottom. They're large and unmistakable. Once we see these, we know the strawberry runner can pretty much live on its own. So start cutting your runners off right at the base of the mother plant. They cut super easy and there's no real trick to doing it. However, do enough of these and you'll actually come across two unique kinds of runners. The first are runners with more runners attached. That is, two or more runners growing for the price of one. This is great, just treat them as a bonus and harvest them both like you would a normal runner. The second unique runner type are ones that actually pop out flower heads. It's like a double whammy of reproductive strategy for these strawberry plants. But they are a heavy strain on the tiny new plantlet and without a doubt have to be cut off. When the runner is still attached to the mother plant, they can definitely be supported, but trying to grow the runner on its own with a large flower head, the strain will just be too great for any positive results. So, Cut that flower head off at the base as far down as possible to give that runner the freedom to put all of its energy into foliage and growing. If you're out there cutting off more than one runner at a time, or it's a particularly hot day outside, protect those plants with some wet paper towel until they can be planted. Before we go ahead and plant, one final optional step must be mentioned. You can do this with the young plants, but again, it's optional and you don't have to. What I like to do is to put them in water to allow them to actually develop the roots further. It can buy you a little bit of time if you're not quite ready to pot these guys up and it never hurts to plant up a more advanced plant. So with our runners collected and ready for potting, let's talk about soil. Although strawberry plants tolerate a wide range of soil types, to set your runners up on the right foot, you want the right soil mix. Your soil should be light, airy, contain nutrient-rich compost, and not be at all heavy or susceptible to compaction. A standard potting or container mix from the store will do just fine. I myself always make my own potting mix. For an in-depth tutorial on how I do it, check out the link in the description below. Either way, don't skip on the soil, 
because to get fruit in the very next season, we need to max out the growth of these very young plants right now. Once you're set on and happy with your soil mix, let's plant our runners up. I use the flexible standard 4 inch nursery pots, but most small pots will do just fine. I like these ones because they fit the 10-20 professional trays just perfectly. I fill each pot in my tray all the way to the top, compress them down about 25%, and then top them up again. Now, before I plant, I always water my pots from below. I fill the tray with about two liters of warm water and let it sit for about two hours. I really want to soak those trays good, especially if I've pre-grown these strawberry runners and they already have roots coming out. Perfect and ready for action. You may have noticed that when I was cutting off these runners, I left about an inch of that runner stem on each of the plants. This wasn't laziness, it was for a very good reason. To aid us in planting, we can actually use this part of the stem as an anchor to hold the strawberry plantlets in place. We can't bury these guys deep, like at all. And this allows us to hold the plants sturdy and upright and perfectly in place. It'll do this until the roots can grow down and take hold of that soil. If you're planting right away, you can simply put that stem anchor in at a 45 degree angle and firmly force those young plants into the soil. If however, you grew out the roots like I do, first you're gonna need to make a hole. Don't make a big one, certainly not like we would if we were planting plugs. Again, slide that stem anchor in at about a 45 degree angle and ensure that the roots make it into the hole without getting damaged. Cinch the soil around the base to secure the plant and Bob's your uncle. As mentioned, be extra careful not to bury that crown or the base of these young plants. Strawberry plants hate to be buried and they can easily rot if you put them down too far. Don't worry too much about the stem anchor position. As long as it's not straight down, you can use it to hold the plant. Progressing through the tray, you'll find you get the hang of these guys very quickly. And potting up dozens of them is not as daunting as it seems. Take note guys, that at various stages of growth of the runners, they may pop up new flower heads. Always cut these off. It's a massive drain on the plant's energy and a misallocation of resources at this time. It's more common than you think, so be diligent and keep an eye out for them. You can see just how easy propagating strawberry runners really is. In short order, just a few mother plants can provide you with enough offspring to field an impressive patch. Having said that, I'll leave you with a few simple rules to follow. Take your runners as soon as possible. The larger we can grow them in the current season, the more fruitful the next one will be. Cut off all flower heads. We just don't want them at this stage. In cooler climates, establish the runners at least eight weeks before the first fall frost to ensure winter hardiness. If you're like me and my family, and you can never get enough strawberries, and you can't or you don't want to stomach the cost of buying new plants, cutting off these runners and planting them up and growing up new strawberry plants for free in one season should be high in your garden to-do list. Know what else is great for your garden and should be high in your to-do list? 
joining the Facebook group, Growing Better. Share your knowledge of not just strawberries, but any plants that you're growing. Got a question and want first-hand knowledge of someone growing the same plants in your area? Ask the ever-growing community at Growing Better. The group is built of people like you and I who share a common lifelong interest in growing their own food. So if you're already on Facebook, join up now. It's free and anybody who loves gardening is welcome. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind and I'll see you in the next video.